Everything is out. <laughs> um, Alright. Here we are at the dock. Last time we came here, we didn't catch anything. Is that true? Yeah, remember? You were so pissed. You're more optimistic now, right? Was I, was I, was I spearfishing? Yes, and you're like, chill. I didn't get anything. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember? I think I kind of do. You're yeah, crying. I was kind of disappointed. The car smells like marijuana because Russ smoked a joint yesterday. Four months on a All right, so since he's done early, I guess I'm gonna pick him up, drop him off somewhere else, and then go to Whole Foods. So I gotta figure out, I gotta go back to this place. What? So you are. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, we'll go down, we'll get some ice down at that store, we'll get some uh, that wine, and a wine glass, does that sound good? Yeah. And a chill. You want me to take a picture of you with your link hog? Stung in the face by a jellyfish. You did? <laughs> Where? I don't even see it. Over my lips. All right, we checked into our hotel. This is our bathroom. I just washed some strawberries that I got at Whole Foods and I'm charging my battery for a little bit. This is the rest of the room. It is bigger than it looks on camera and it does the job. So yeah, it's in a good location too, actually. And here's some wine that we got earlier, Pebble Beach glass that we got. Uh, we already have one we got at the store last time we were here, but we wanted to get another one to complete the set. We have a bottle of Louvre champagne in the fridge, and then we also have a bottle of this Robert Mondavi stuff. This stuff is so delicious that since we discovered it about a month ago, we tr we purchased about six six bottles of it, both from the Wa Robert Mondavi website and from the store. Here's me. We have a restaurant reservation at this restaurant that I like. It's called Le Bicyclette. So I'm hoping to get a pizza. Their pizza photos look so good. This is our spread from Whole Foods. Mmm, that's good. Mm -hmm. It's dinner time. We're in this really intimate room right now. Do you want to get the short rib or you want to get like some different? We can get the short rib. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will. Wait. <laughs> I, you're so impatient. To record stuff because you always take it. <laughs> those people finally left. We got this place all to ourselves. I actually want one of those tangerines. <laughs> Finish dessert. We're gonna get out of here, go to bed. I'm gonna drop you off. Singing fish. I'm trying to stick a knife in my butt right now. Do some good while you shop. Goodwill Central Coast. There we go, Buy stuff, create jobs. Thank you. I'm gonna grab some stuff. <laughs> I've been noticing that there's a lot of Korean presence on YouTube and in the market for products and stuff like especially beauty but I don't really agree with all of that because I mean I don't think I have more experience really and I don't think I'm more Korean than anybody because I'm definitely not I grew up like in an all-white Caucasian town city if you want to call it but 
You know, when you're in Korea, there there's so much makeup and skincare out there that you don't even know if what you're trying here is really all that good. So for example, like those to Tony Moly masks, I know they're really popular and I do agree that the snail one is pretty good. But just because it's sold here doesn't mean it's that popular there because actually to be honest with you, Tony Moly is not a very popular brand there at all. Um, the brands that are popular are Etude House and Innisfree Face Shop and also um, Misha is very popular. Like even high school girls wear, wear Misha, they're known for their BB creams. Um, not just the ones like in the, the red tube that were really popular, but they have other ones as well, as well as um, their lip tint, bloody red liquid in a tube that's very popular. And then Innisfree, their sun cream is very popular, their green tea seed serum is very popular, but Tony Moly is not that popular, neither is Holika Holika. And also Too, too Cool for School is not that popular either, even when like the Rodin, um, the the contour was really popular here. I mean, there, there were not very many too cool for school stores and in Korea If you want something and it's popular there it is everywhere. There's like no place where Something's popular and you just can't find it there like for every there's like a face shop on like every three corners where I live in Korea there were I, I didn't even live like in a downtown metro area I had like five Paris baguettes around me like five and then I had um, walking distance. I had um, two Misha stores. I mean, walking distance like less than five minutes. And what I'm saying is, in Korea, there's a plethora of stuff. It just hasn't been discovered yet. Another example of a popular product is the Sun and Park Beauty Water, and I've seen Korean beauty bloggers rave about it. But even when that was blowing up, and I wanted to try it, so I thought I'm just gonna go to Korea and get it there. Like, people I talked to didn't even know what it was, and I had to show it to them because I finally found it at one Olive Young place. And Olive Young is, you know, it's kind of a makeup store, pharmacy, drugstore, and kind of like a snack mart. And my cousin was like, oh, I never knew this was here. And, um, you know, there's Olive Young everywhere too, and if it were really that good, you'd be able to find it, but you can't. You know what I mean? So that is just my two cents on K-Beauty is that I'm really, 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 really skeptical, skeptical about what, what's really good and you know, I don't care what, I mean I'll try, like if I'm convinced that a beauty blogger says it's really good, I'll definitely try it, but I'm definitely skeptical, let's put it that way. I put this powder on my eyebrows because my eyebrows actually is the most, it's the oiliest part of my face. Literally just after a few hours, I can just wipe my eyebrows off. Another thing about Korean products is that it's hard for anything there, at least for me, to become a holy grail product because they're always reformulating, always changing change little things too, like the smell or the packaging. That I kind of doubt that it's the same as what it was before. I mean, there, there have been many times where I'll fall in love with the product and they'll, they'll stop making it. Even when there's nothing, there's no reason to change it, you know? And then that's pretty much it. I'm going to do one more thing, is put a pop of this. This is an old Makeup Forever, I think it's like a face, a blush slash eyeshadow, like a multi-purpose that I bought from Sephora a long time ago. And actually I feel like this really gives it that pop that I really need to brighten up my complexion. God, that looks good. In my opinion, it looks good. And I don't know, for some reason I like to put, put on my blush starting here and kind of make it like that. I don't know, I feel like it makes my face longer. And then I'm pretty much done. I'm gonna put on some clothes. 
I don't know what the weather is going to be like, but hopefully I pack the right stuff. I'm just going to fold that closed. For two people? It got warm. It's warmer today than it was yesterday. Yeah. Uh. I feel like he's actually doing this to it to annoy me. <laughs> right? Yes, much better than the restaurant. They're they're uglier, You're but better than the restaurant. They're uglier though. Much better. Yeah.